I think there was always that kind of feeling that when you walk out onto the stage, I guess the people watching or the audience aren't expecting to see someone who looks like you holding a cello or holding a violin and also therefore aren't expecting that what comes out is going to be of a good level. I think Nottingham really feels like, like it has like a really big hub and it's like a community and I think we always felt really welcome and really supported. I'm Kadiatu Kane Mason, I'm the mother of the seven children who all play classical music. Hello, my name's Brimer, I play the violin. Um, I grew up in Nottingham and I've watched uh, many amazing concerts in this, in this hall. Hello, my name is Sheku and I am a cellist and I also grew up in Nottingham, I'm Brimer's brother and also watched many amazing concerts here and have performed here a few times as well. Rebellion for me suggests, it takes, I think it takes a lot of courage. And I think that's something that, um, I think courage is such a, a great thing to have. And I think it's actually grown from, often grown from having the support of people around you to kind of trust yourself and to have that, that courage. And so I think you're not just a courageous person. It of course comes from believing in yourself, but that often comes from the support of the people around you. So for me, rebellion means a lot more than just the act of doing something challenging and, 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 and courageous necessarily, but it also talks about all of the things that go, go on behind the scenes and the, and the hard work and the support and the, um, the dedication to something that you really, really believe in. Yeah, I think, I think courage is, 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 is such, a good, such a good word. Um, I definitely agree with everything that, that Sheikhi said. To carry on from that, I think um, just before there's that bit where there's the breakthrough moment and the kind of visual um, rebellion that people see, whatever that might be, there's always that kind of bubbling uh, un underneath that carries on for so long behind, behind the scenes when you're building up that courage and you're getting little bits of inspiration from here and there and then, the, and then a movement or an idea is, is, is growing. Um, I think, yeah, that's what, what I'd say. I think the word rebellion means any act that goes against the grain of what is expected and maybe breaks out of the system in which you find yourself. It's doing something unusual, it's doing something challenging, it's um, achieving something that no one expects you to achieve. I thought it was important to create a space in the classical music world because it was a space that had not yet been occupied and it was a, an area, I think, which is incredibly undiverse and that needed to change. I think um, there are many things, yeah, that are, that are constantly challenging about being a musician and, and, and things like that. But I think for us as, um, as young black people in a world of classical music, which I think um, has this um, image of being um, very white and also being for a certain group of people who are lucky enough or um, wealthy enough to be able to, to pursue it. And I think for us, we're lucky in the sense that our parents always um, encouraged us and they sacrificed a lot in order for us to have um, music lessons and, and, and to play on these instruments. And, I think even more importantly, they, they gave us the belief that if we do work hard, that it can be for us. And I think when we were younger, I think we were, we were very lucky that because there were seven of us, even though we might have felt like um, we were the only people who looked as we did within classical music because there were seven of us doing it, we always kind of had each other. I think there was always that kind of feeling that when you walk out onto the stage, one, people aren't the, yeah, I guess the people watching or the audience aren't expecting to see someone who looks like you holding a cello or holding a violin and also therefore aren't expecting that what comes out is going to be of a good, good level. But I think what was always kind of encouraging for me is I always felt that I had something um, unique to offer. As a black person, when you're asked to talk about um, something like racism which seems so obvious to us but then to articulate that I think is tricky and you're, you have to be very precise and articulate with what you are saying otherwise 
it comes across as, as vague and um, like you're just complaining. There have been many moments of defiance with raising the children and keeping them, I suppose, very positive about what they want to do. And there were lots of small moments of rebellion where you go into a concert hall, no one else in the audience is black, no one on stage is black, no one in the orchestra. So you're making a very conscious decision all the time that you can put your children into this space, which if you look around you, shouldn't be where they should be. So I think all the time you're making that conscious decision. And I, and I definitely agree with and, and understand the idea with what you're saying about, you know, it is potentially harder to rebel um, if the personal risk for you is greater. Um, but I think for us, we decided and we loved what we were doing um, a lot. So the stakes for us were kind of, OK, well, we're not going to just not pursue it because, you know, it doesn't seem like there are lots of people who look like us doing it and it doesn't seem seem right. So the stakes for us were kind of, well, if we don't challenge that, then we then we can't do it. So for, so for us, it was it was it was it was quite simple. In, in that sense. There were lots of moments. I mean, um, I suppose with other parents who, uh, the boys were part of a football team, for example, and um, we had to say, well, they want to audition for the Junior Royal Academy of Music in London. And lots of parents said that we were being very unfair and pushing them to do something that wasn't for them. So we had to very much go against that and say, well, it's what they want to do and who says it's not for them. Our, our parents always said from a very young age, kind of and gave us the, the idea that you know this is your space and if you work hard you know you you can do it and never so we never really felt um, in a strong sense oh this isn't something that was that was for, for us even though from the outside um, uh, and certainly statistically it would it would seem <laughs> I think it's been absolutely necessary to be rebellious and I think that's probably the only way in which you succeed and in which you can be happy. So I would definitely advocate rebellion for everybody. I think Nottingham as a city is very proud of its people and very proud of its diversity as well and I think that's just incredible. We were very lucky as parents because when we were children, the state schools that we went to, we were able to have free music lessons and it was accessible, uh, probably more accessible then than it was now. And so when we had children, we thought, well, it's obvious they should have also have the chance to play. And um, they were also very lucky because they went to Trinity School, which was very welcoming with music and encouraged everybody, no matter what background you came from, to take up music. And so we were, we made a decision that we wanted them to go to Trinity School because we knew it was a musical school. And it's been fantastic in terms of the education they got here, in terms of the head teachers, the teachers. And when Sheikh won BBC Young Musician, the city itself seemed to be behind him. For example, Nottingham City Transport um, got a bus and put his face on the back and named it after him. And we've had supports from so many areas of the city. No, it's, it's, it's uh, great to be in, back in Nottingham just for a few days and, and seeing, because um, it really, yeah, I mean, it's obviously where we grew up and so, so many things um, from zero to 18 happened um, in, in Nottingham that we're so grateful for. I think music is, is a really in interesting one because it's, it's a language as well as uh, medium. I love what I do and I love music and that in itself motivates me to because I know that if I work hard and practice then the result is I'm able to perform um, music that I, that I love. I think one of the most amazing things was the concert hall that we have um, in Nottingham and I remember seeing so many amazing concerts for just um, five pounds because they had this student um, this is new they had this student um, is it push? push um, they had this student thing where you could go for five pounds and see some world class um, orchestras and so I think yeah we saw some of the best concerts very easily and very close and very cheaply as well so that was that was amazing um, yeah. Yeah. 
We couldn't take them to opera, for example, because that's £35 a ticket. Impossible. Also, there's a um, next to the Royal Concert Hall, you have um, the theatre as well. And we'd, we'd go and see the pantomime every year. Also, some really, really good plays in the, in the Playhouse. And I think we're just quite lucky in Nottingham to have um, some really good arts and, and culture and, and music. I think that's because there aren't actually that many nice sounding concert halls in London. And I think actually the sound of the con concert hall in Nottingham is um, one of the best. Yeah, that's and I think not, that's, that's, not that's, 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 that's not biased. You can, you, you, you can yeah, it's, I'm it's sure many, fact. yeah, it's, it's a fact actually. Cool room. Um, so this is like a room more dedicated to, I guess, guitar. Um, and oh, this is cool. All of the steel, steel pans. Um, so there's like a steel pan, uh, steel steel band, yeah. which you did. I did. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't ever do. But yeah. yeah, I was in the in the steel pan group at, at school, um, which was actually in yeah in my year. Many of the many of the football team, like the football team, was actually quite similar to the to the steel pan group, um, which I think is probably is probably rare for for many for many schools. I think Nottingham really feels like um, like it has like a really big hub, and it's like a community and I think we always felt um, really welcome and really supported and I think a really good thing about Nottingham is that when someone locally does something that um, something good within sports or arts or any field they're really they're really celebrated and, and the council house will have a poster of them and, and this kind of thing and I think um, that's definitely influenced us feeling like we're part of a of a um, a city that is a is a family in itself. We feel really, really proud and really honoured to, to be seen as role models within classical music and, and, and within Nottingham. Nottingham has been a very important environment for the children to flourish and given them a very definite sense of identity. I think it is always it always has a, a really really nice feeling playing um, as siblings because we know each other so well and each other's personalities and each other's playing as well and I think we are all we all do have our individual um, musical personalities as well as um, personality personalities um, but when we but when we come together there is this dynamic that really works I find um, and we each have our own things that we kind of offer to the to the group and and I think because we know each other and trust each other as well I think that's when it comes to performing to have that feeling that you're playing with someone um, that you trust gives you that added freedom um, We gave the opportunities to the eldest one, Isita, and then we thought the only fair thing to do is give the same opportunities to everyone. So that's how it happened. And we were lucky because they just loved the music and wanted to take it further than we envisaged. We just thought they would just do it for fun and it would be a lovely thing for them to have as a, as a hobby, as something they'd keep for life. They were the ones who wanted to carry on and take it further. Yeah, I think when, when we were learning, because we were all learning at the same time, it wasn't like an official, like organised thing. We would just play together because obviously we were all learning in the, in the same house. So it would just naturally happen together. So Isita, who was, um, you know, started first, she would always accompany us in our um, exams. So when I did my grade three, grade four, etc., she would be my um, accompanist. Um, and then same with same with Seiko. I think she often accompanied you in, in, in your exams. And then I think we were just lucky that Isita liked the piano best. Sheikh and I both started on the, on the piano as well, but we liked the violin and cello more. So then we had a nice, a nice piano trio and lots of, lots of repertoire. Play a lot with, with Brimer and do a lot of recitals with my sister Isita as well. And, and I guess because we've had a lot of chance to play together, um, it is not just necessarily because we are family and we know each other, we've also played together a lot. Um, as well, so we have that, that, that trust and, and comfort and freedom, therefore. 
You've hit on being the mother of a lot of children. I mean, I was a university lecturer, so I, had a, I was a person with a career. So having lots of children was something nobody expected, and everyone thought that that was probably something I shouldn't do. And I think just kind of surviving it as a positive thing and seeing it as something which has helped me to grow as a person and has made me happy. I think just doing that and saying parenting is actually something that is positive, it is valuable. It's just as important as a career. It's another kind of career and it matters. I think that's very important. I mean, I think obviously apart from, apart from playing, playing here um, in a month, which is obviously um, an, an immediate um, exciting thing that we're looking forward to. I think we both also share this ambition as, as well, um, which is to really try to make classical music a much more accessible and widely taught um, thing. And I think the main challenges that we face in this country, but also in others as well, is the idea um, that arts in general, and especially performing arts, are this sort of extra thing. And when we were younger, it wasn't it wasn't like that, and that's why, we, why we're able to play now. I'm looking forward to performing much more again um, and travelling around. I love, I love um, travelling and playing in lots of new, new places, and so I'm looking forward to doing that a lot um, later this year and into, into next year and, and things. And...